This video is gonna be about my ultimate signature bundle showcasing every single one of my presets I've made for people like me that hate, I mean hate, wasting time and repeating tasks over and over and over again. Real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Editing Torsten. I run a shop called Sparvel Online, helping short form video editors optimize their workflow. The goal of this video is really to show how much value and time you could be saving through presets alone. And if you still feel kind of iffy about it, just download the free pack. It's free. It has a bunch of value, so might as well. All right, so let's first start with my audio pack. It's basically every single one of these presets is just a drag and drop process, so you don't have to constantly make it yourself. And for the first one, it's a fix and audio pack. I use this every single time I edit my audio and it just really helps clear it out and give it the quality it really deserves. So let's just listen to it. This is how you can turn any screenshot into a moving 3D animation like this. Yeah, that's a lot better. Next, we have a low pass that's just simply if you have some kind of important word that you want to hear or just muffle out anything, that's perfect for that. Here's my microphone preset. I use this one too, just to get it enhanced to just a little more of clarity. They're both really good, but honestly, I use this microphone preset more than the fix any audio. This is how you can turn any screenshot into a- It's very subtle, but it works really well. This is when you put it onto music, it'll just balance it right out. And we got a high pass. Kind of like a weird phone-like audio like my other one. Here's muffled music. It's kind of the same way of the low pass, but it works a lot better on music than rather, let's say, my actual audio itself. And then we got phone-like audio. So when you're doing some kind of showing someone on the phone, talking to someone, boom, drag and drop, easy as that. Oh yeah. Or a radio, it kind of sounds like a radio too. Next, we got the LUTs. This is where I, I really, really love. These are amazing. Let's first start with my other signature that I use. Just gives it, oh my God, it's so crisp, man. Then we got black and white. It's just black and white. Basic color grade, this, I use this a lot with my pink in the background because all my other ones don't really work very well with it. Cinematic look. You can tell how much just the depth of this picture it brings. Then we have another cinematic look. This one's even better, oh my God. This is crazy, man. This should not be illegal. And then we got just another My LUT. This is what I use in every single one of my videos. Then we got some vibrant LUTs to, just to like help you outside and bring out the trees and everything. Another vibrant LUT. All right, now let's go to the really important where the real shake sauce is. For 3D rotate left to right, it's basically drag and drop. It's pretty subtle. It's just a 3D rotate like it is, just like that. Black faded bar, what you wanna do for this is go into your project, hit color mat, you get a black color mat, drag it onto your layer, and then grab the black faded bar. Ooh. Grab the black faded bar, color mat, boom. It gives you this nice black faded bar on the bottom. Next, let's do darken in, darken, darken and blur. It's exactly what it is. Here we go. Darken and blur, it's exactly what it is. It's just dark and blur. So we got dark and constant. It's just a constant dark kind of, just use it to, I use it to really emphasize like a word. So if this text was here, you can just easily see the text. Then it's dark and blur in, which is exactly what it says. You just, it blurs right in. Then we got dark and blur in and out. Dude, it's just that easy. It's just a drag and drop, man. Exactly what a fade out is. You fade right out. You just pass it down, fade out. Then we got lens distort. This one's a little tricky, but in order to do it, you have to duplicate this layer. So duplicate the layer, put it on top of each other, stack it. This, the lens distort on the top, there. Kind of gives it a little lens distort. You see in the ends and everything. And then you can just mess around with the lens distort. 
and give it a really nice kind of masking. But it's really good. And then we got new drop shadow. This is my newest one. It's a lot better than my other ones. It's pretty subtle. It's nice though. Then we got rounded corners. It's exactly what it is. You have a PNG like this or just anything and you drag it, drop it right on there. Boom, Guiden gives that a little rounded corners. You can mess with the corners to give it more you can mess with the corners to give it more, give it more of a curve. See how it's more curved? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we got shake. So the normal shake is just a normal shake. It's pretty slow. It just depends all on your clip length. And then we got fast, which I am pretty sure you can guess. It's just really, it's fast. And then we got medium, which is in between. And we got slow, it's really slow, you can't really tell. And then we got super fast, which I don't really use a lot, but it's still useful. So now we got our, we got our slides. I've paired every single slide in with a slide out, so you don't have to really mess around with it. But if you just want in just a slide in, it's still available for you. All right, there we go. It just slides right in, boom, and then slides down, boom, just like that. Just slides in up, and then straight out left. Easy as that, man. There's another one. Slide in up, and then out right, the opposite way. Slide in up, and out up. And this is just a slide down up. So if you have anything, you can just slide it right down. Then we have slide in left. Just basically slides in from the left. It's, they're all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll still show them all to you just so you can kind of get the gif of it. Just slide in left, down out. Slide in left, out left. Slide in left, out up. I use mainly all of these, every single one of them. Hands down, you have to use 24 seven, especially in my type of editing, and especially if you wanna edit like me. And then this is just a slide in right, slide in right, slide out left. And we got slide in right, slide in right and out right. Slide in right, out up. Just a slide in up. Just smooth sliding up. And this is the one I use, I use a lot. You slide in up and then down out. It kind of, I made it so it has a little bit of that. You see right in the middle, kind of shakes a little bit. And then we just have all my slides out. You kind of get the gif, you've already seen them. And then we move on to the smooth zoom in. All you have to do is have an adjustment layer Go into the adjustment layer, grab it, boom, smooths in, smooths out, just like that. And then here's the smooth zoom in really quick. See, nice smooth zoom in. Subtle, another subtle rotate. Just a little bit. It's nice though, trust me. Yep, you already seen the slide in down. Here is a white outline. This is a white outline for any of your PNG. So you can have it like that. And then I would grab also the rounded corners. Kind of gives the, the white kind of fades out to give it that nice little corner. A little bit of like a 3D-ish effect. Looks pretty cool. This is just a really fast zoom in and out. Just bow. It's very good for viral, like your hooks, especially in the beginning. And then this is just a fade in like it says so nice fade in and then we got the uh, subtle zoom out just gives it a nice little subtle zoom out in case you have let's say for instance you have a keyword that you're you already zoomed in it's just a nice zoom out so then you don't have to use the other one you have more a little flexibility 
And last but not least, we will use the text pack. This is one is very, very exciting. So I got blurry effect. You can kind of see it a little bit. It gives it a little bit of a blur, but I would recommend just up, you know. Oh, I put on the wrong one. Oopsies. Text effect, you can use this on a blur. It gives that nice little like kind of, I'd say like vintage look. It's very nice. Or you can even grab it and put it on an adjustment layer and blur out the background. So then the text is just easy to read. Then I got drop shadow for PNGs. Gives it a nice drop shadow on the ring of it. You can kind of see it here or let's use PN. Yeah, you can see it more here. Then we have the glow effect and all you have to do for the glow is duplicate the text layer, put it on the top of the text layer for high power. It's gonna give it a nice high glow and low power. Gives it a nice little glow and then normal. And you can obviously adjust these as much as you want. Jitter like animation. I don't use this very much, but it kind of gives it a little bit of a, I'd say like Ali Abdal. Ali Abdal or just very famous creators like Houston Cold effect. And then you have a shine effect for text and PNGs, which is a mask, a light, and it, all it does is it comes to the left and you'll see it there, boom, it just shines. Then we have a subtle glow for the text, which is just a really, really small glow. Text reveal left to right, it's exactly what it is. And then we have text reveal top to bottom, just reveals it from the top to bottom. Wiggle effect, this is very useful. It gives it a little of a grunge effect, this is definitely a must, trust me. Especially if you're going for that really aesthetic, like dark and type of like grunge effect. Yeah. Wave and stripe effect. I don't use this very often, but it looks really cool. It's basically like a little animation. This actually looks like Ali Abdul's. And then we have a drop shadow. Just gives it a nice drop shadow, look at that. Just easy, boom. And that's pretty much it. If you made it to the end of this video, I would very much like to thank you. Thank you. I really do believe that this is the number one preset bundle in the world for saving time as a short form content creator. And if I had this starting out, I would seriously be like at least 10 times further than where I'm at right now. So if you want the bundle, the link is in the description. And as always, act rather than seek perfection. See ya.